Justin Brownlee is back in his ordained role as savior of the Kings. After two setbacks in his return to Barangay Ginebra San Miguel, Brownlee has finally settled and regained his rhythm to help the Kings score back to back victories. The wins are crucial for Ginebra as it moved up to ninth spot with a 3 5 card and, more importantly, put the team in a position to make a run for a playoff berth with three games to play in its elimination round schedule. Brownlee poured a team-high 35 points, while veteran guard Latunario contributed 22 points and 7-foot center Greg Slaughter finished with 12 points and 14 rebounds in a 104-84 win over Magnolia Hotshots Pam Bansang Manok last Sunday at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. We played our best game of the conference, said Ginebra coach Tim Cohn. Obviously we get a little bit more comfortable with Justin on the team. We're feeling a lot better. Prior to Ginebra's win against Magnolia, the team downed NLEX 93-85 in Brownlee's third game with the franchise, which he led to championships in the last two Governors' Cup. His scoring prowess, notwithstanding, Brownlee said he'd like to do more in other departments like rebounding and passing to help his team get to the next stage. I scored and that's just about it, said Brownlee. Having a triple-double probably shows I'm doing more things. I don't like to look at myself as scorer or rebounder or passer. I want to do multiple things. Dot perhaps the 6'5 Brownlee can do all that in the remaining three games of Ginebra, which got additional offensive power with the addition of gunner Jeff Chan who the team acquired in a trade with Phoenix Fuel yesterday in exchange for a first-round pick in this year's PBA rookie draft. Chan, who initially played for Red Bull before transferring to Rain or Shine, is averaging 11. 5 points while shooting 38% from the field with 4.4 rebounds, 4.1 assists and 1. 22 steals a game. Cone said that they have been targeting the former Far Eastern University star for months, and his addition excites him as he sees Chan as someone who can bring their level of play to a higher level. It's always tough to give up a part of your future through first round picks, especially for veteran players, but Jeff Chan obviously fills a big hole for us. His ability to spread the floor for Greg and Japheth, Aguilar, could spell the difference, said Cohn. We've been targeting him for months because we have always seen him as a guy who can lift us to a higher level. So if we can get two or three good years from Jeff, then the sacrifice of our first round pick will be worth it, added Cohn. Ginebra has three games to play in the elimination round, Colombian dip this Wednesday Alaska on Sunday and Global Port on July 6, and Cohn said they will again treat the games as must-wins to make the playoffs. As for Phoenix, team official Raymond Zarilla said that Chan's departure would definitely affect the team's campaign this season since the player ranks second in scoring behind Matthew Wright. However, the Fuel Masters are built around a young cornerstone of Wright and rookie Jason Perkins, and the addition of a first-round pick from Ginebra, no matter where it lands, will give the team of coach Louis Alas an opportunity to invest on a young player. That's what we really want, build a young team, said Zarilla, whose team are likewise in a playoff race with a 3-6 record.